So in case you haven't noticed, during the month of November, gold was up huge. 10-year bonds were up amazing. Equities were up the best that they've been this year. Bitcoin is up holy mackerel. <laughs> Money is looking to earn more. And so it's coming off the sidelines. Tech stocks are not getting the bulk of that money, but they're not getting hammered either. The rotation is happening, it appears, but mostly from new cash coming in everywhere, not so much from it rotating away or out of our people selling off the tech stocks. The tech stocks are just too strong. They are obviously all doing very well. Markets are taking a breather this morning so far. One thing to think about is huge positive sentiment like now can cause some contrarian investors to take profits. It might be the case in equities, maybe for a day or two. We might see some softness after the big run-up in November. At some point, the bargain hunters will take the lead. And in fact, there's some evidence of that so far this morning. The MAG-7 are under the most selling pressure this morning with Tesla down, but Tesla's not down as much as the other members of the group. The NASDAQ is down more than the Dow so far this morning and more than the S&P, again, with evidence of that rotation taking place. In the early going, equities are already showing some inclination to go back up towards the green, but, you know, things get a lot choppier as the day goes on, probably. We'll take a look at where things stand in about 10 minutes, and sometimes that gives us a little more evidence. This is Randy Kirk. Please hit like if the morning show is useful to you. If you if you learn something or if you gain something from the show, then that would be a good reason to go to Patreon and sign up. So Patreon is the information down below on how to do that. And if you join up at the $5 level, of course, you get a free book on audio. So that's worth like 15 bucks. If you join at the $10 level, you can get two audiobooks, and that's like 30 bucks worth of stuff. So, or you can have the choice of getting, of course, one of these cool cyber truck refrigerator magnets and bottle openers. And it's the very coolest thing in the world. Big orders already this morning. Thank you very much for supporting the station, the channel, whatever we call this thing, uh, by participating in the cyber truck retail business. All right. Um, have I hit everything? Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, and hit notify. We've got Brian White later this morning, and then we've got Larry Goldberg tonight. Can't be bad today. You're going to be getting good, good, good episodes later today. All right. Uh, let's see. We have got uh, right now, it says here, um, Umbiism says, wait a minute, what, what? I'm missing something. Let me just find my place. Here we go. Yes, Umbiism is saying this morning, Tesla News, Tesla sells 82,432 China-made vehicles in November, up 14.31% from October. So that's good news, getting back to these all-time highs in the high 80s. In the January-November period, Tesla sold 853,603 China-made vehicles. That's up 30% year over year. There is no demand in China. There is no demand for uh, for electric vehicles. No, only up 30% so far in China this year. China's November wholesale sales of passenger NEVs are estimated at a new record 940,000 units, up 29% year over year and up 6% from October, the CPCA said. But here's the headline in Reuters. Tesla, China made EV sales skid 17.8% on year in November, year on year on, in November. Oh, really? Well, you couldn't ask for better proof of anti-Tesla bias at Reuters. There's four ways that you could write the headline. They picked the only one that was negative. <laughs> you, you can't make this stuff up. The mainstream media... The uh, they're just out of control. They don't tell the truth. You can't trust them. It's just gone. It's just over. Only place you can really get the news that is honest. I still like Barron's a ton. Barron's tends to be on in there, but other than that, you got to go to X. That's where the news. Man, again, you got you can't trust that either. You have to you have to back it up. All right, trueflation back under three percent again this morning at two point nine eight. Of course, I'm still not a hundred percent ready to trust them yet either. Uh, there's a lot more volatility since they added all this additional data, and there's no new blog post yet to explain this volatility. Anyway, 
I'll be uh, watching for that blog post. Usually it comes out around the 6th or the 7th. I'll be watching to see if they have any commentary about this volatility. Gary Black saying this morning, traders betting on Fed beginning interest rate cuts as soon as March. Who said that? Oh, yeah, Randy. Oh, OK. With inflation, you know, <laughs> you guys give me a lot of a lot of grief about some of my some of my uh, bets, some of my in my suggestions of where the markets are going. I think I was really early on talking about inflation being down. I think it was really early on saying there would be no recession. I think it was really early on saying that the the uh, uh, interest rates would start falling from five percent. We'd be down into the uh, four point two five range. I don't know. I. I, I could go on. There's a few more. Uh, actually, there's a lot more. With inflation falling and GDP growth slowing, market expectations are for 1.25 percentage points of Fed easing next year and the 10-year to be below 4% by 2024 year end. Oh, yeah, it'll be below 4% below that. <laughs> that benefits long-duration growth names like Kathy Wood stocks, which are doing very well. I didn't look this morning yet. We'll have to check and see how Kathy Wood stocks are doing. Dan Ives says, a new tech bull market has begun heading into, it's begun, comma, he should have had, heading into 2024, in our view, led by the AI revolution. There you go. Bulk transporters. Now, I haven't reported, I forgot to report last week on the end of the month uh, in terms of the uh, uh, amount of, of uh, tr truck transportation, truck uh, loads, and the amount of tonnage. Freight levels are improving slowly after bottoming, bottoming out earlier this year, according to new data from the American Trucking Association, which reports it's seasonally adjusted for higher truck tonnage index. It increased 1.1% in October. This slight uptick in tonnage follows a 1% decline in September. As you know, this one runs late. So um, anyway, that's uh, the situation with tonnage. So this would also indicate that this economy is moving up, not just in services, but we're beginning to see some movement in terms of uh, products as well. Squawk Square says this morning, Squawk Square is usually so negative, but he point, points out this is uh, not something you can be negative on one way or the other. He says Tesla has made $69 million on their Bitcoin just in November. <laughs> and then the Kobiesi letter who actually does a very good job of finding little uh, bits of information that are valuable, even if I commonly don't like their analysis. But it says, since January 2020, the equal weighted NASDAQ index is up just 48%. Meanwhile, the Magnificent 7 is up 259%. <laughs> he says, in other words, you can do the math. The Magnificent Seven is up five times more as much, actually 5.4 times, as much as the equal weighted NASDAQ since 2020. This year, the five largest tech stocks in the NASDAQ 100 have accounted for 70% of the index's gain. The S&P 500 would be uh, up just 5% this year if the Magnificent Seven were removed. So again, we're talking about this rotation. I think we're going to be seeing it. The huge November, this is not him. This is me now. This is Randy speaking. The huge November gains are under pressure today. The pressure's on Tesla as well so far this morning, but the tug of war early this week will not be about the fundamentals. It'll be about the algorithms grabbing profit, looking for re-entry points, most expect the rally to continue throughout December and for the money to flow in to the so-called value stocks and other stocks that haven't participated, as we noted above, this rotation. We should be a bit cautious about, oh, let's, uh, let's drop back here one more thing. I also think that there's a good chance that the Bitcoin thing is going to find its mark. It's going to find its max. It's going to, because remember, there's no fundamentals here, Okay. You know, it's only the only fundamental that they're looking at right now is will they become uh, uh, will these ETFs happen, making them more uh, m more valuable be just because it's uh, more liquid. Uh, that's the only thing that's that's a fundamental. And I'll, I know I don't know anything about Bitcoin. I don't think about the entire category, but that's one thing I can tell you is it's gone up a lot. And I think it's going to find like every other thing that you buy and sell and trade it's going to be out too far and it's going to fall back. I think the same thing is going to happen with gold. So there you are. I know a little bit more about gold, but I'm not an expert on gold. 
but that's my thinking. Um, also, we should be a bit cautious about Sandy Monroe's statement that there was a throughput of one cyber truck per minute. I know I reported on that extensively yesterday morning. Um, I know others reported on extensively. I know people are making a big deal about it, and I did too. But I read a couple of other things from uh, Jeff Lutz and others who were saying, yeah, stop for a minute. Let's wait. Let's see if Joe Tegmeyer starts to see, you know, with his drones, if he starts to see a lot of units coming out of the building um, uh, today, tomorrow, the next day. Let's start and see if people are getting their phone call, their email, whatever, uh, asking them to take uh, delivery. Um, uh, you know, there could be, there could have been a lot of, uh, showmanship going on who knows or or maybe there, there's a lot more it could be very erratic in terms of those numbers so i don't think we should we should wait we should be cautious okay <laughs> so let's take a look at where the markets are right now we have got let's see here we have got tesla boy tesla is absolutely this close to the green by the time we take our last look it might jump into the green this morning but the rest of the mag 7 not so much so this could mean we're only down 0.8% on test 0.05% at this point. It is this close to going to the green. So we might be starting to see the cyber truck effect. As I mentioned, I think it'll take a day or two for the market to have seen those videos that we've all seen. Okay. I mean, there's three hours, four hours of videos. It's hard. You know, you, everybody doesn't have that on a Sunday, especially when they're watching football. So, yeah, so you're, you're going to, you're going to have to wait and see how long it takes for the street and for the investor investing public to get what happened last week on Thursday, because it's amazing. It's beyond amazing. It's just, it's the most miraculous, the most incredible increase in car auto technology in my lifetime, I've never seen anything like it. So it's going to take the street a bit to get that. But it looks like this morning, it is Tesla is doing way better than the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, the S&P, or the Magnificent Seven, uh, as it is almost in the green. All right, let's look here, though. The Dow Jones is down 0.13%. The NASDAQ down six times that amount, at down almost one full percent, 97.97. And the S&P is down a half a percent. We have got the rest, as I mentioned, of the Magnificent Seven all down 2%, 1.7%, 3%, 2%. All right, you seeing this rotation? Again, I don't think the NAS, I don't think these Magnificent Seven stocks will be down at the end of December compared to the beginning. I just think they're not going to be doing as well as the rest of the market. Then we've got the Kathy Woods. Unsurprisingly, the Kathy Woods are like this. OK, and I've, I know I've talked about this a lot. Sometimes I feel like people treat Tesla like a Kathy Woodstock. Now I'm going to say for the very first time, I think it's kind of in the middle now. It's not fully a Kathy Woodstock. I, again, I'm talking about sentiment. I'm talking about narrative. I think this, the market, the investing class is beginning to see Tesla not quite like a Kathy Woodstock, not as a risky uh, growth stock. But they're starting to see it as something in between a Kathy Woodstock and a Magnificent Seven stock. And right now, Tesla is in the green, up 0.8%. Let's look at these in dollars just for fun. We always like to do that. Uh, oops, I just blew that. I <laughs> All right. So we have got the Dow Jones up 47. I mean, I'm sorry, down $47. We've got the NASDAQ down 134. We've got the S&P down 25. Tesla up $0.09. Cents. And again, the magnificent seven down buck eight down eight bucks down nine bucks down two bucks. You can see what's going on this morning. Okay, let's go on and see what's happening with the rest of these situations. I keep hitting the wrong buttons here. I'm so sorry. Okay, we have got bonds right now up three the thirty year up three basis points, but still right about four point two five. I think this is not a technical analysis. Okay has nothing to do with technical analysis. I mentioned yesterday, there's nothing about the 10-year yields that won't take it straight down to like 3.25. There's no stop. It. There's no... Now, I don't know all of those other kinds of technical analysis, the 30-day moving averages and the two-year moving averages and all that stuff. I'm just talking about if you look at stopping points where people have traded in a range for a while, there's nothing like that. However, I believe right now, 
that the bonds are the ten year is going to trade around four point two five for a while. Okay, that's a gut feeling about where inflation is, about where the Fed is, about where the mindset of the market is. I could be completely wrong. It could drop all the way to four percent in the next week, for all I know. But I have a gut feeling about four point two five is where it's going to trade for a while. All right, let's look at the uh, others. We've got the two month is up just barely. So that inversion continues to expand. I'm sorry, that, that's contraction. We got it backwards, I'm sorry. The two year is up uh, 0.043. So that's in other words, four and a half basis points where the 10 year is only up two and a half basis points. So that is a widening of the inversion on the two year, which most people think is the more important inversion to watch. But again, who knows anymore? <laughs> I'm I'm of the opinion that that it's it's a completely false flag right now. Okay, we got oil down 75 cents again at 73. I think there's a real possibility oil goes into the 60s again. Remember, oil was trading in a range around 68, 67 up to 75 for a while. I think we're going back into that range. Uh, we've got gold down 23 this morning, but it's still at 2,066. So it's still strong, but it's down. That's down a, whole, a full percent. Copper down 1.6% this morning. I'm going to check the commodities. If I have time later today, don't hold me to it, but maybe by tomorrow for sure, I will check the commodities in general. I'm curious to see where the commodities are going right now. We have got, uh, did I? Yeah, I think, yeah, I did mention that. Okay. We have got the dollar claw. It says the headline is clawing back some ground. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it's up a little tiny bit. It's not, it's clawing up all right. Uh, Bitcoin up 2000 this morning at 41,663. Uh, this cannot, I'm sorry, I don't know anything about this market. I'm not going to comment. All right, <laughs> any more than I already did. Uh, let's see. All right, so that is all of those. I'm going to go back and check Tesla one more time. Uh, let's see, we got Tess, oh, not one more time, I, I, one of the two more times that I'm going to check it. Well, it's back down again, 98 cents. So it's uh, bouncing around, around the green. Okay, so hit like. Was that valuable? Was that useful? Are you getting something out of these morning shows? Do you have $5 a month? I mean, come on. I don't want anybody that doesn't have, if $5 a month is going to change your life, do not sign up on my Patreon. I mean it, don't do it. But if $5 a month to you is like, you know, it's like you, you go to Starbucks, right? Five bucks. You go to McDonald's. It's $15 now for one person. You go out for you go out for lunch at a nice restaurant. It's $30, $35 after your 20% tip. <laughs> so is $5 a month going to kill you? Are you getting $5 a month worth of value from the show? I'm just, I'm just saying. And you know, and if you put the five bucks in and you like to listen to audiobooks, I guarantee you the Elon Musk mission will inform you. It'll inform you more than my show does. You would have to watch my show for a month to get as much as you would get out of listening to the audiobook, the Elon Musk mission. And quite frankly, the Elon Musk method too, especially if you're in management or you own a company or you ever intend to own a company. So I'm just saying, so then if you can afford 10 bucks, you can get both books for free. Okay, or you can get one of these at a $25 value for free. Okay, or if you just don't want to do Patreon for some, by the way, that information is all below in the description. If for some reason you don't want to join Patreon, but you do want one of these, I know you do. You've wanted one since the first time I showed it to you. It's kind of like the Cybertruck itself. It's like, no, I want one of those. So, uh, and now you also have your brother and your cousin and 15 other people you can think of that would love to have this for Christmas. So it's time to buy them because basically I think we're down to five or four or five days where I will have to place my last order. So we need you to order this week. Now, listen, I'm going to find a way to get it to you later in the month, but why do we want all that confusion? Why do we want all that pressure? <laughs> Send your $25 to paypal.me forward slash Randy Kerr. All the information is down below. $25 for one. $45 for two, $65 for three, add an extra $20, $20 if you're outside the country, outside the United States, my country. <laughs> and then um, uh, what else? Oh yeah. And then tell me whether it's going to be the, the regular or it's going to be the camo. All right. You got to always put that in. Otherwise, you know, we have to have some emails back and forth to get that sorted out. All right. My last, this will be the last time we're going to check Tesla this morning. 
back in the green, seven entire cents, where everything else, the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P, and the Magnificent Seven are down, but the most of the Kathy Woods are in the green. All right, it's been great talking to you.